cake. I want it, Jessie. Yeah, it looks all right. But that bread up there, mmm, now that looks good. Right, Henry? What? Um, yeah, that's right. Bread's more filling. Uh, but bread doesn't have frosting. Yes, but it's so warm and buttery. You can almost taste it through the glass. You said it, Vi. Aww. Hmm. You know what I think? This place would be perfect to stay the night. Come on. What do you want? I'm closing up. Whoa. We'd like to buy three loaves of bread, please. Wow! I gotta have one. There. All right. That'll be 27 cents. Wait! This too, Henry. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? Fine. Just this once. Woohoo! <laughs> That cupcake will be ten cents more. Here you go, ma'am. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and... Oh! Oh! I'll get it, ma'am. Ma'am? Mm. Would you let us stay here for the night? I beg your pardon? If you did, we would help with the chores and the dishes. We'll work very hard. Wait a minute. What about your parents? Well, um, they passed away, ma'am. Oh. We have a grandfather. But we don't like him. Oh, Penny. Shh. Oh, really? And why not? The truth is, he didn't like our mother, and we're afraid he'd be mean to us, too. Why do you think he'd be mean to you? Well... He never came to see us. He doesn't like us at all. Where did you say you were from? Don't worry about us, ma'am. We only want to stay the night. Hmm. I, I don't know. Please? Hmm. Fine. You may stay the night, and tomorrow we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much, ma'am. We're all pretty tired. And hungry. You look like you just ate. That was dessert. Now I want dinner. <laughs> okay, let's eat. You can sleep on the benches, but don't touch anything. And don't make a ruckus. I'm glad she's gone. She doesn't like us. She's really nice to let us sleep here. Mm. She does make delicious cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Benny. Jesse, you are right. Bread is better. You know, guys, we're lucky we found this place, thanks to Jesse. she'd let us stay here. I don't know. But at least we're safe for tonight. <gasps> Listen. You hear that? Responsibility uh -huh. and hard work will be good for those children. Come on. They're runaways. Wandering the street without supervision. It's unacceptable. Yes, dear. Unacceptable. So, I was thinking we'd keep them. Ow! What? The three older ones are big enough to work. And the little one, he's too young. He must go to the orphanage. <gasps> but what about their grandfather? If he had wanted them, they wouldn't be here. Now would they? Well, I suppose you're right. Tomorrow, I'll take the little boy to the children's home. 
But we must make them tell us who their grandfather is. Fine. Those children are going to be a welcomed help around here. And don't go easy on the older one. A little discipline is just what a boy wants. We gotta get out of here. You're right, Jess. No one's gonna break us up. Okay, let's get going. What's going on? We have to go. It's that old lady, isn't it? Benny, if I wake him, he might make noise. Yeah, good thinking. I think we could all move a little bit faster mm. if we woke up Benny and had him walk. Maybe you're right, Jess. Come on, big guy. You have to wake up now. All right? No. Go away. Benny, don't be like that. Hold on. Let me try. Benny! You're the papa bear. I am? Yes. And we're your cubs. You are? Yeah. And you have to find a safe place for us to sleep over winter. What do you say? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We need to find a place to sleep. Sleep. You're right, Jess. I think we've walked all night. Sleep. I got gotcha. you. Daylight's coming. We have to get off the road. What about those? We can make a little cave out of the haystack. Wow. Good idea, Violet. work, Jess. Very cozy. <sighs> I guess we should hit the hay. <laughs> good night, guys. <sighs> More like good morning. We sleep all day and we walk all night. Don't worry, Jess. We'll find a place to stay soon. I'm sure of it. What if there isn't a place for us? There's a place for everyone. We'll find ours. Get some sleep. I think I 
just want some hay. Oh, you did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as it gets dark, we'll get back on the road and look for some water. I'm sure there'll be something just up ahead. But I'm thirsty now. Why don't we play a game? Yeah. As soon as you spy the first star in the night sky, we get you some water. Why do we have to wait? Because we can't risk someone seeing us, Benny. Okay, I'll let you know. Station. I'll bet they have a pump there. Greenfield. Isn't that where Grandfather lives? Uh-huh. We're not going there. Hmm. Come on, Violet. We gotta stick together. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be around here somewhere. Is anybody home? Looks empty. Mm. Aha! Here it is. Let's hope it works. <clears throat> it's like a waterfall. Go ahead, Benny. Can I have a cup? <laughs> you don't need a cup, silly. Take a drink. Huh? Watch. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I think we're in for a storm. Uh, what's that? Someone's coming. Quickly, let's get around the back before they spot us. Come on, in the bushes. Oh no, it's the bakers. Keep very still. Look, a four-leaf clover. Violet. <laughs> Sorry. I was sure I saw something. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. <gasps> there you are! Run! <gasps> Get back here! It's for your own good! <sighs> can't just let them run off into the woods! We have to go after them! Hang on! those foolish children. We did all that we could. That's right. They deserve whatever they get. Let's go home. <sighs> oh, that was close. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that storm's almost here. Hey, 
What about there? We can find a dry place to sleep under the trees. I don't want to go in there. I'm scared. Look, Benny, it's just like in those stories I read you. You remember how Robin had us to run from the Sheriff of Nottingham, don't you? Yeah. Well, you're Robin Hood. Um, I am? Yeah, and we're your merry men. And, and in there is Sherwood Forest, where nothing can harm us. It is? Whoa. It is. Have no fear. We steal from the rich and give to the poor. Let's go, guys. Follow me. <laughs> hey, it's starting to rain. We better find some cover quick. Come on. We better find something fast. This way. Hold on. I think I see something. Where? Over there. I don't see anything. I know I saw it. Huh. Just over there. I know I saw it. Ah! Just ah! Is everyone okay? Gee whiz, that was fun! Oh. There it is! Huh? A box car! Come on, Betty. I knew I saw something! Come on! We better get inside! It's gonna pour! Okay. Uh, it's stuck. Let me help. Me too. Oh no! <clears throat> All right, everybody, count to three. One, two, three. <clears throat> <clears throat> Could use a little work. Hey! It sure beats being outside in the rain. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah! <laughs> it's scary in here. It's okay, Benny. It's just an owl. You know, I bet this boxcar is pretty special. What do you mean? Can you imagine all the amazing places it's been? Like where? Across the whole country. I bet this boxcar's carried all kinds of cargo. Uh, like animals? Sure. All different types of animals. Ooh. Like lions? And tigers? And bears? <sighs> Anything's <sighs> possible.
What a pretty butterfly. <sighs> Feels like I've slept for days. <sighs> I wonder what time it is. <laughs> Let's see where we are. <sighs> be past noon. I guess we needed the rest. It's like a fairy tale garden. <laughs> I could stay here forever. Here? Yeah. It feels safe here, Henry. We can make this a home. <clears throat> We're out in the middle of nowhere. That's right. Uh, what better place to hide from Grandfather? I know it doesn't look like much, but imagine what it could be. Hmm. Maybe. I don't want to stay here. Why not, Benny? What if the train comes and takes us away? <laughs> oh, Benny, there's nothing to worry about. The train will never take this boxcar away. It was forgotten a long time ago. And look, there's grass and bushes growing all over this track. You mean the train doesn't use this track anymore? No, sir. It's all ours. I guess it's okay here. In that case, who wants breakfast? Or is it dinner? I've lost track. <sighs> One piece left for each of us. <sighs> it's too hard. Oh, Benny, it's gonna be all right. I just wanna go home. Don't worry. I'll go back to the filling station and get some milk. Thanks, Henry. Wait, I don't wanna leave you guys all alone. Did you forget about Robin Hood? Oh, yeah. Did ya? <laughs> Nothing's gonna get by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're in good hands. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll even have a surprise for you when you get back. You just wait and see. <gasps> hmm. So long, Henry. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going. See you guys soon. Bye, Henry. What's Bye. the surprise? Well, I saw something good to eat just over there by that big sycamore. What was it? Blueberries! Woohoo! I love blueberries. What are we waiting for, kiddo? Let's go get them. <laughs> Wee! <Hey>. Woo! <laughs> Something's in there. Mm. What if it's a bear? Keep still. <gasps> Is it? Don't move. Aw, it's a sweet little dog. <laughs> Are you lost, boy? Oh, he's hurt. Oh, you poor dog. All right, boy, I'm gonna take the thorn out now. Count of three. Oh no, I can't look. One, <laughs> two. There you go. Is he okay? <laughs> I think he's just fine. <laughs> he's saying thank you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he licked me! <laughs> wow. <laughs> here, boy, here! I've never seen so many blueberries. Hey, mm. try tossing some in the blanket instead of in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Listen to your sister, Benny. Okay. Whee! <gasps> oh! <laughs> hey, boy, where are you?
are you going? Wow, a dog. You weren't kidding about that surprise. <laughs> Where'd you find him? He found us. Well, he sure seems like a good watchdog. That's his name, Watch. Oh, is it? Yep. Well, I guess Watch is a pretty good name for a watchdog. What's in the bag, Henry? Help me carry this and you'll find out. Huh? Huh. Blueberries. Jesse, you had two surprises for me. Mmm, this cheese is the best. I can't remember the last time I ate something this good. Hey, that's so my cheese. <laughs> Don't mind him, Watch. Here you go, boy. What's that, Henry? My own invention. A blueberry and cheese sandwich. <clears throat> wow, that's good. <sighs> hey! <laughs> Looks like Watch was hungry. <laughs> How much money do we have left, Henry? Not enough. I better go into town tomorrow and look for some work. What kind of work? I can cut lawns or work in a garden, whatever I can find. Just remember, Henry, we have to keep this place a secret. Don't worry, Jess. I'll be careful. All right. I guess now that everyone's had their meal, it's time to clean up. While you take care of that, I'll do a little work on the boxcar. I'll help. You need to wash up before you do anything, young man. Okay. What are you doing, Jess? The water will help keep the milk cold so it doesn't spoil. Like a refrigerator. Neato! <laughs> be the bedroom, and the other side will be our sitting room once we get it all fixed up. Is this our home now, Henry? Sure sounds like it. Sleep tight, Benny. You're looking at it. Mmm, that's good. Try it, Henry. Uh, huh? Don't worry. We still have one bottle left. Mm. Where are you going? Silver City. Time to look for work. Be careful, Henry. I'll be back before you know it. So long, guys. Bye. So what are we going to do now, Jesse? Hmm. Well, Benny, I think we should go on a treasure hunt. Yes! If I find the treasure, do I get to keep it? You sure do. Yes! Ahoy, mateys! Let's go find the chest of gold! <laughs> That's not exactly the kind of treasure we're looking for. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Tin cans, bottles, and old dishes, or cups especially. Are old tin cans and old dishes treasures? <laughs> they will be to us. I wonder how Henry's doing down there. <sighs> Look! There's 
with the treasure! That looks promising. Come on! Hey! Wait for me! <laughs> Now we just need to take this stuff to the box car and clean it up. And we'll have a real kitchen. Mm -hmm. This will be my pink cup. Well, I just hope it'll hold milk. Of course it will. It even has a handle. It's a beautiful cup, Benny. Now get down from there and help us carry this stuff back. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh, <laughs> Benny. difference. There. <sighs> hmm. huh. <laughs> hey guys. Wow. Where'd you get all this stuff? Henry, you should have seen it. We went exploring and found a junkyard. Look at my cup! Wow. You guys really hit the jackpot. How was town? I'll tell you all about it after we eat. I'm starving. <laughs> hey, we can use our new dishes. I'll set the table. I'll help. them up, Jesse? No. You'll see. <sighs> I think they're ready. I thought this might be just the thing for those potatoes. Oh, butter. Yum. <clears throat> be careful. They're hot. How do we eat them? With this magic spoon. Turn it around. And voila! It's a knife. They're not burnt at all. <laughs> Just like I said. Flip it again, and you got a spoon. <laughs> Try it. Mmm. See? Mm. So what happened in town, Henry? Well, I got a job working for a man named Dr. Moore. He was mowing his lawn when I first arrived but was having a hard time of it. Good morning, sir. It looks like you could use some help. Oh. <laughs> it's that obvious, huh? Oh, look at this place. Really got away from me, didn't it? Well, let me help you. I could sure use the work. What's your name? My name's Henry. Glad to meet you, Henry. I'm Dr. Moore. It won't be easy getting this lawn in order. Are you sure you're up to the task? Am I ever? <laughs> well then, by all means, my boy. The job is yours. Thank you, sir. I, I won't let you down. I'm sure you'll do great, Henry. <sighs> when I finished? He paid me right away. He even asked me to come back to work again tomorrow. That's great, Henry. You can go to work, and we'll keep fixing the place up. Yeah, it's really working, so long as no one finds us. 
<sighs> you were right, Jess. There's something special about this place. We worked hard over summer, and it was worth it. I helped out around Dr. Moore's while Jesse and the gang fixed up the boxcar. The doctor was awfully generous, too. Ah. Here, take these. Thanks. Huh. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. And I came home every day with a new surprise for Jesse and the others. Things around the box car were really shaping up. <laughs> Jesse made some of the best meals ever, using the veggies from Dr. Moore's garden. As the days grew long and hot, we dreamt of building a pool. When Benny found a set of wheels, I promised to make us a little cart oh. that would carry the stones we'd need to dam the brook. This really has been a magical summer. I wish it would never end. Hmm. Well, this place has never looked better. Four hammers. You've done an amazing job for me this summer. Well, here, take one. I have more than I need. Thanks. I don't know what I would have done without this job. Huh. You know, our cherry harvest is Monday, and we could use your help if you can make it. I sure can. If you know of any other hard workers, bring them along, too. I just might. Good. The more, the merrier. Oh, and don't forget your weekly wages, my boy. Thanks again, Dr. Moore. See you Monday. Goodbye. Hmm. Hey, boy. What is it? I think he hears something in the woods. I'm a 
afraid, Henry. What if someone's out there? If there is, Watch's growl will make them think twice. Uh. It's all right. The watch knows. It was probably just a rabbit. Uh. Try and get some sleep. Watch will keep a lookout. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Is it ready? That should do it. Give it a try. It works! Thanks, Henry. Don't go far. We're gonna head to the brook soon. Give me a ride, Benny. I wanna try. Ready to go, Jess? Jess? Do you really think it was just a rabbit last night? I don't know for sure. <sighs> what should we do? Don't worry. Watch is a good watchdog. And if anyone tried to hurt us, he'd do more than just growl. Won't you, boy? <laughs> what would we do without you, Watch? I'll make sure to keep Benny and Violet with me at all times. And keep Watch with you, too. Looks like you're ready, boy. Let's go build that swimming pool. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> First, we find a place to build the dam. Then, we'll start with the stones. We'll build a rock wall, which will help hold the logs in place. Next, we'll lay the logs onto the stones. Our little pool will begin to fill. And next thing you know... having you around. I can't do that, but I was thinking, why don't you guys all come to work with me tomorrow? Huh? Well, Dr. Moore said he could use more help with the cherry harvest. Oh, can't we, Jesse? Did you forget about Grandfather? If we're all together, we'll be easy to spot. Well, what if we walk separately? Benny and I will leave first, then you, Vi, and Watch will start out a little later. And Watch can follow your trail so we don't get lost. Let's just hope more cherries land in baskets than in Benny's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Henry. Ah, I'm glad to see you brought some friends along. Dr. Moore, these are my sisters, Jesse and Violet. A pleasure to meet you both. And this is Benny, our little brother. He's too small to climb trees, but we had to bring him along. Mm. I bet he can help fill the little baskets from the big ones. It's a big cherry year, and we have to work fast. Thank you. Take a bucket and get started. It's okay, watch. Go find Benny. <laughs> Be careful, Benny. Watch where you're going. Your afternoon paper, Doctor. Thank you, Mary. These kids have done such a good job, and they're so polite. Mm. I wish we could do more for them. We're here for them if they need us, Mary. What do we have here? Lost four children, two boys and two girls. Somewhere around Greenfield or Silver City. $5,000 to anyone who can find them. Signed, James Henry Alden. 
Well, would you look at that? I think you've picked them clean, Henry. Let's call it a day. Here you are. Whoa, that's too much. It's just right. You kids worked hard and never without a smile. In fact, I would be delighted if you would all come back tomorrow. I have a busy day. I sure could use the help. Well, gee, Dr. Mora. We'd love to, sir. I'll come back every day. That's good to hear, Benny. We should be on our way. Thanks, Doctor, for everything. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. The yard looks great. Now put that stuff down and hop in. I don't want you kids to miss field day. What's field day? What's field day? It's a Silver City celebration. There'll be cotton candy, pony <gasps> rides, and a relay race. I'm too busy this afternoon to go, so I need you all to tell me who wins. Cotton candy! Yum! Let's go. What do you think, Henry? There might be a lot of people there. I don't know. Come on, guys. Looks like it's already been decided. <laughs> you children are going to love field day. can see us, either. Wow. Sure looks like they are having fun. All right, folks, it's time for our famous free-for-all. What's that? Don't you know? Didn't you see the last one? No. It's the biggest race of all. The winner gets a $25 prize. Anyone can enter. Come on. $25? Maybe I should try. Those boys look like they've been training all year. Uh, yeah. I think you can beat them. Hmm. We all believe in you, Henry. You mean it? Uh-huh. I'll do my best. Henry! Henry! Huh? Henry! We'll be rooting for you. Yeah, get out there! All racers! Report to the starting line. <laughs> Henry! Henry! Hey! Let's welcome back last year's Best winner, Henry. Charlie Henry! Oh, 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 oh. Runners, take your marks! <laughs> Set! You can beat him, Henry! Go! <laughs>
Hendricks like Charlie Hendricks is in the lead. Go, go, number four. Go, go, number four. 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 Number four wins! <laughs> the yeah. judge will present the trophy! Hey, have some water. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. What's your name, son? Mm -mm. Henry, sir. Henry J James. Well, Henry James, that was quite a show you put on. Well done, my boy. Silver City's free-for-all champion. Mr. Henry James! <laughs> Dr. Moore won't believe that you won the race. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Look at me! I'm Henry James, the fastest boy in the world! <laughs> I'm famous, you'll never catch me! <laughs> <laughs> Are we rich now, Henry? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It was so much fun. I want to go again. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's getting windy. I, I'm cold. Here. Hold on, Henry. Here, put this on. You'll stay warm if we keep moving. When will we be home? It won't be long. Did you miss us, boy? Watch, watch. Henry won. <laughs> Let's get you warmed up. Good idea. Well? What do you think, Benny? Is this a good spot for it? Not bad, but something's missing. <sighs> That's better. That looks great, Benny. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. <laughs> Maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> you feel a little warm. You should get to bed. I think it's time we all did. Hospital. I know, but we'll have to give our names if we do. Then Grandfather might find us. <coughs> oh, we've got to do something. You're right. I know what to do. I'm gonna get Dr. Moore. Violet. What? She's very sick. Come on, we'll take my car. Oh. Hang on. How did you know where to go? 
now. Never mind that. Come on, let's go. Hang in there, Vi. They'll be here soon. I see them! Henry! How's she doing? I brought Dr. Moore. You'll be okay. You were right to come get me, Henry. We need to take Violet back to my house right away. You all need to come with me now. Violet is very sick. We need to get her to bed. Bring up some hot water bottles. We need to get her warm. Right away. Is she going to be okay? Don't worry, Benny. I'm not leaving her side until she's better. What if she needs us? I'll take care of Violet, my dear. The best thing you can do is let her rest. Come on, children. Let's get you tucked into bed. There, there. Henry, you were right to get Dr. Moore. Good night, children. Help you, sir? I hope so. Might Dr. Moore be here? Yeah, but he can't come down now. What if I was to tell you that I had a great deal of money for him? You think he'd come down then? No. He's taking care of my sister Violet. She's sick and he's not leaving her side until she's better. I'm so sorry to hear that. I was hoping to have a word with him. Why? Are you sick too? Heavens, no. I've lost a little boy about your age, and I believe the doctor might know where he is. Huh. Hey, what's that behind your ear, son? Huh? I don't feel anything. Let me get it. Ha ha! Hey! A lemon drop! Can I have it? Of course. <laughs> hey there, what? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Benny, for being such a good host. You think you could take Watch out back and let him run around for a bit? Sure. Come on, Watch. I was so glad you called. And I'm glad you came. How about we go have a word in my office? So that's Benny. Indeed he is. I can't believe that charming little boy is one of my own. They're all wonderful children. But I'm afraid they won't want to go with you just yet. Mm -hmm. To be honest, they're frightened of you. They have nothing to be afraid of. I know that. Mm. But they don't. I think they just need to get to know you is all. Mm. What if I don't tell them who I am? Yes. I suppose we could do that, just until they get a chance to warm up to you. You might even stay here with us for a while. 
That's a fine idea. I'll go home and pack some things. And as promised, let me give you the $5,000 reward. Oh, no, please. That won't be necessary. I just want to see them happy. Thank you, Doctor. Of course. Supper's at six. See you then. I smell Mary's dumplings. Mm. Hey, it's you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Children, this is Mr. Henry. He's a good friend of mine, and he'll be staying with us for a while. Henry and Mr. Henry. That's funny. Of course, you remember little Benny. Yes, of course. Hello, Benny. Hi. And this is Henry and Jesse. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Very nice to meet you, sir. Ah, go on, everyone. Sit down. There you go. Mmm, delicious, Mary. Isn't he the judge from Field Day? I hope you're hungry. I think you're right. I'm sorry to hear your sister's not feeling well. She's doing much better. Right, Dr. Moore? In a couple of days, she'll be as good as new. I'm glad to hear it. That's quite a relief. Can we start? Please, dig in. Mm. Mm. You see, Benny, a blossom will grow into an apple so big it can't get out. It's quite a sight. I want to do that. I'll show you how. We can do it together. With a little sunlight, we'll have an apple before you know it. Really? I'll come back to check on you tomorrow. I'd like that. Let me help you there. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Henry. Are those for Violet? Mm-hmm. And one for you. Oh. There. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> As they voyage down an ever-widening river to the sea. The end. There. Sweet dreams. What are you making, Henry? I'm making Benny a toy box car. Oh, of course, I see it now. You've got some detail work to do. Yep, I'm saving that for last. I have something that might help. A jackknife? Wow. Wait, it's bad luck to give a knife without taking a coin in return. You risk cutting the friendship if you do. Oh, I think I have a penny. Perfect. Thanks, Mr. Henry. To the start of a great friendship. Carry on, then. Don't let me keep you. Dr. Moore? Mm-hmm. Does Mr. Henry go by another name? He does. What is it? James Henry Alden. Wait. Ah, very good, Benny. It, it can't be. Mr. Henry? Hmm. I guess it's now or never.
Are you James Henry Alden? I am, my boy. And you, Henry James Alden, are my grandson. <gasps> you mean you're our grandfather? Please forgive me for keeping it a secret. I was afraid I'd lose you again if you found out. I. But, but I thought you were old and mean. Jesse said so. Uh, you, you just never came to see us, so. I thought you didn't like us. It's all right, my dear. Well, I guess it's nice to finally meet you, grandfather. Grandson, we have so much to talk about. Let's go and see Violet. But, Grandfather, how come you never came to see us till now? I'm very sorry about that. Not visiting you children is one of my great regrets. But you've given me a second chance, and all I want now is for us to be a family. Grandfather. I'm so glad to hear that. There's so much I want to know. Where have you children been living all this time? We have been living in a boxcar in the woods, Grandpa. A boxcar? We have a fireplace, a swimming pool. And they made beds out of pine straw. Huh? Wait, how do you know that? You've never been inside. Well, one evening after work, I wanted to make sure Henry got home safely, so I followed him. Why didn't you tell me sooner? And why didn't you tell us that you knew our grandfather? You were having such a fine time out there, and you had Watts to look after you. I knew that when the time was right, you'd all be together. So, all of you have seen the boxcar, but me... <clears throat> we'll show it to you. When Violet gets better, we'll all go there together. I feel better already. Oh. <laughs> At last. Oh. It was pouring rain. We could barely see a thing, and then out of nowhere, we found it right there in the glade. What a wonderful old boxcar. Come on, Grandfather. Oh, 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 oh Betty, slow down. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. My goodness. Mm. You did all this yourselves. It took a lot of hard work. Look, Grandfather. Look at my big cup. <laughs> Look at that. I was wondering, how would you like to come see my house tomorrow? Of course. We'd love to. Ah, good. All right. I think it's about time to head back. We don't need Violet catching a chill. I'm all better, Dr. Moore. Look. You most certainly are. <laughs> well then, let's head back before I catch cold. Ta-da! <laughs> We've only been gone a week. But it feels like a dream. I'm gonna miss this place. Me too. Me three. All right. Time to close it up. That I do, Violet. And I was hoping you would like to live here, too. Wow. Let's go have a look. Wow. Look at all 
look at this place. <gasps> wow. I've never seen anything like it. <gasps> hey, an old photo of Dad. Huh? Hmm. He looks just like you, Henry. And he was just about the same age there as you are now. Huh. What are you waiting for? Go up and have a look at your rooms. Huh? I wonder which room is mine. Let's try this one. Wow. I guess we know whose room this is. Amazing. Wow. What a great room. Look at all the toys. Hey, stockings! Where'd you find them, Watch? I miss you, Bear. You're lucky, Ben. You have something to remember the boxcar by. We all do, Vi. Just Close your eyes, and there it is. I'll never forget our time at the boxcar. That's right. We all miss it. But we have an amazing new home now. It's more than we could have ever dreamed. Grandfather's been so kind to us. Come on down, children. We have guests. Daddy! Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> Dr. Moore, what are you doing here? We were told there'd be a surprise, and we didn't want to miss it. A surprise? What kind of surprise? Oh, just a little something. Well, actually, it's not so little. When will it come? As a matter of fact, it's here now. Where, Grandfather? Out back, just beyond the gardens. Go on, you can't miss it. I wonder where it is. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Is that for real? But how is it even possible? Who cares? Let's go! <sighs> wow. It's just the way we left it. Hey, my trophy! <laughs> my pink cup! Well, is everything as it should be? It's perfect. Thank you, Grandfather. Don't worry. We won't ever leave you again. I hope not, my dear. I can't believe it! Oh, Grandfather! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.